Welcome back to SourceFed, I'm Ava Gordy. And I'm Candace Carrizales. Last week, news outlets everywhere were reporting about Candy's favorite magic boy, David Blaine. 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 David, 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 David Blaine. The news outlets had headlines that read, David Blaine shoots himself in magic trick that goes wrong. And watch David Blaine nearly die after shooting himself in the mouth during failed magic trick. This was trending. It was all over the internet. People were tweeting me, texting me, emailing me, Candace, are you okay? And I said, yes, I am. You know why? Tell them, Candy. This is old ass news. That shouldn't have been news in the first place. News outlets were treating the story like it just happened last week as if David Blaine had a show that went terribly wrong, but that's not the case. All the news outlets were referring to David Blaine's TV special titled David Blaine Beyond Magic. It re-aired on ABC Saturday, January 7th, 2017. This special is old and David Blaine is fine. Oh, no, what the f***? The David Blaine Beyond Magic 42-minute special originally aired on ABC on November 15th, 2016. But for some reason, it's only hitting news outlets when it was re-aired on ABC months later. Suspicious. Honestly, yeah, Ava, it is. It could be as simple as maybe nobody watched it the first time airing. Or it could be as complicated as David is not in the limelight enough and is paying tons of outlets to cover an old-ass story that's not even a story because it was in a special that was edited. And dare I say, the stunt was fake. But Candy, he's a magician. Magic is fake. Well, actually, that's where there's a lot of confusion about him. Is he a magician or is he an endurance artist? I guess he can be both. Is he really putting himself in danger or are they magic acts that he's playing off as daredevilry? Which brings us back to the news last week about an endurance act or magic trick of him shooting himself in the mouth with a bullet. If you watch the special, it looks real. It looks like he's shooting himself in the face. You can see on the video, there is so much force that hits his mouth. He has a long string that's attached to the trigger of a gun and the gun has a laser that deciphers where the bullet would hit if he pulled the trigger. And he's holding a handheld mirror to see where the laser is pointing at his face. And once the laser seems lined up with the metal cup placed in his mouth, he pulls the trigger. A dangerous stunt that could 100% kill you instantly. And if this is real, cool, I guess, but you're risking your life. Not to mention he has a young child, which honestly makes me pissed off at the love of my life. And if it isn't real, why play off a stunt? You're a magician after all. Shouldn't you own up to that, maybe? Which is actually similar to what Penn Jillette from Penn and Teller said in his podcast called Penn's Sunday School Podcast. This specific episode is about David Blaine and aired on November 20th, five days after that special aired. Penn makes it clear in the podcast that David Blaine is a friend of his and his first magic special, Street Magic, that aired in 1997 was the best magic special ever done. It changed magic, it changed everything. But then Penn goes on to rip him a new asshole. He says, but I want to say categorically that what David Blaine did is wrong. <gasps> David Blaine pretends that the bullet catch is not a trick. He pretends it's a stunt. Is there a chance that it really is a stunt? I hope not. I hope there's no chance that David Blaine did something that irresponsible. But Penn, people do dumb sh all the time on TV. Like Survivor, that show sucks. But also I like to think about what would have happened if he died while filming that special. I feel like anyone who was helping to create that special would have their ass on the line. And just to keep the record straight, Penn did not watch the special. So he's kind of assuming it's similar to the trick Penn and Teller have been doing for years. So let's take a look at Penn and Teller's trick. So it's no secret that Penn & Teller's is fake. Penn makes that very clear. It's a magic trick, not a stunt. Now I also want to make it clear that I have no idea if I think David Blaine's stunt is real or if it's fake. As a lover of magic, I am constantly Googling how magic tricks are done, which ruins the magic, but I have to know. So if this David Blaine bullet trick is a stunt, how is it done? Candy found this explanation of the trick on an online forum and it's pretty interesting. It really makes you question trick or treat or stunt. Also, Blaine has done this trick before, so the trick being explained in the forum isn't exactly the same trick. The trick being explained is when someone shot the gun for him in 2014. He didn't pull the string or have a mirror. He let someone do this for him? Yeah, in 2014. Couldn't that, couldn't that be murder? Couldn't that be a liability? <laughs> I'm just uh, yes. We could put that in, in this, the video. <laughs> Okay. But the forum says, and by the way, I don't know who wrote this forum. It might just be some random 12 year old boy, but I like his point. It has less to do with physical skill and accuracy and more with clever gimmicks and some video editing. When you see Blaine catching the bullet in real time, there is actually no bullet being shot. The sound of shooting is artificially created. The cup in David's mouth is actually a gimmick, which when triggered, probably by remote control, vibrates a little bit and then lets out some smoke to create the illusion of a bullet hitting the cup. Trust me, that is no ordinary cup. And the possible 
possibly 12 year old boy continues with, but what about the slow motion videos? The slow motion videos are filmed separately. This time they actually shoot something into David's mouth, but rest assured it's not a 22 caliber bullet. Also, they shoot it from a much smaller distance. They give it just enough speed and force to create the effect we see on the video, but not enough for it to be really dangerous. The rest is clever video editing. I have to say, Blaine is no stranger to clever video editing. As amazing as his 1997 special is, there are still many editing tricks. So what do you guys think? Is it a trick or is it a stunt? Let us know in the comments below. I'm Ava Gordy. And I'm Candice Carazales. If you liked this and you're a magic head, uh, subscribe to the channel, like the video, share it. Amy Schumer. <laughs> I don't know this person's name. I don't Can even I know Can I see who's... who this person looks like? What this person looks like? Wow. You just showed up to Comic-Con, huh? Fucking <laughs> plate to the back of the head. <laughs> and then she told me when I texted her about this the other day, she said that she hit him a few times in the head <laughs> and it wouldn't break. <laughs>